for anybody out there who wants cabinet or countertops uh, that are like skinned in. Um, if you noticed, let's see if we can zoom out here around the mess of my basement. There is a this is kind of like you know like a changing divide or whatever but if you see it's at an angle here angle here and the angles back on itself I want to recreate that angle so that I can make a counter you know say that's an angled wall I want to make a counter that fits that exactly um, in the world of uh, perfectness everybody can just make perfect right angles or, or uh, 45s and it'll fit great but uh, when you go to the job site you're way off so let me show you how you would do that just go back to this. Now this is where this, uh, basically this is like a scanning option. A couple different ones you can do. You can do scanning uh, in a line. You can do scanning on a grid. Uh, the grid is kind of like if you were to scan like something irregularly shaped. Um, I was thinking about uh, there's a, a window job that I might be doing uh, in a couple of months where we have to like basically outline all the window uh, light and everything and it's going to be a church window so it's pretty irregular and crazy I was going to use this feature to scan it out but I'm going to show you the line feature for right now because that's what we're going to do um, this is vertical this is horizontal this is at a slope um, these will stay you know when you hit that first shot if it's 20 inches off the finished floor they'll stay 20 inches off the finished floor all the way around uh, granted your floor is level but I did a job last week um, where I took all the shots, and uh, it, I had a laser level set at 30 inches off the finish floor, and it stayed right on that laser level line all the way around. It was pretty pretty phenomenal. So I'm going to click that one because that's what the one we're going to do. Now what it does is it asks you to, to measure the first point. So I'll say, okay, I want to hit this back point here. Now I'm going to pick right here. Start there because we're gonna same do the same thing, kind of look in one direction. So hit that shot. Now it's gonna ask me which way do I want to go left, do I want to go right, or do I want to go all the way around? I'm gonna go right. Now it says okay, spacing two inch, go all the way down to half an inch. You can go two, one, two, four, twelve, sixteen, or custom. I'm actually gonna do uh, two inch for now. Click OK, and it's gonna start taking measurement points. Um, every two inches. Now it, it's actually looking for a good shot there. It kind of is keeping right on the line. It's looking for something in that same plane. Now the cool thing is we're going to actually miss, it's going to hit that, it looks like I missed the corner. You can pause this at any time and say, you know, say it's having a hard time finding a corner or there's something in the way. You can uh, skip, skip the rest. You can you can change the scan interval. So I want to do now every four inches. Uh, click OK, and it automatically adjusts and start taking measurements every four inches. Now, uh, if you want to skip a point, you can hit this button. Um, I'm going to change the scan interval again to say two inches again because we're hitting the corner. Now I'm not doing anything. It's, it's actually taking the measurements, so I'm just sitting here watching it. I do the points. If you if you look at this in person, it's kind of like recessed, so it's trying to stay on that line. So when it gets to about the end, I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to hit say the rest because we we did all we can do. Now, do you want to edit the scan? So I'm going to hit yes. And if you look up here, you can kind of see that the angle's going on. I'm going to hit edit scan. Now this is if we are taking points and like this diagram shows, you miss a corner and you want to locate it. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to come back to, well, I'll grab this point while we're right here. That's pretty much the end. Kind of just a little bit. Take the shot. Now, that corner is all right. I might hit that point right there. Yeah, hit that point. And I locate that one. That corner is okay. But this one. One's okay. I think the lines are just shifty, so I think that's good. I'll we'll just say check mark for okay. These got some extra lines there, but we can just delete those. There's a way to this little trim. 
if you want to just do the points, you can just click that and it'll cut it out. I kind of find it easier just to delete some lines afterwards.